Cheers. Welcome, welcome, everybody. How are you today? Good. How about yourself? I'm fine. So we're back. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that you have been working on the barrel. It's darker. Mm -hmm. Hey. He's been working on the barrel. Oh. I'm sorry. The camera monkey's been working on the barrel. Hey. <laughs> Head camera monkey. Head camera monkey. So it's looking nice. Still waiting for the top. What is wrong with you? Don't knock on the barrel. <laughs> Why you gotta knock on the barrel like that? <laughs> Ah, oh, puppies. So things haven't changed, have they? No. Get that all out. Cheers. Welcome, welcome, everybody. How are you today? Good. So I've noticed that the barrel's darker, so Cody's been working on the barrel. Mm -hmm. When are we getting our top? Soon. <laughs> Hashtag never Soon. gonna happen. No. Put in the down below of the pool. We tested on the, the day. color <laughs> on the top. We or Cody? Cody and I tested the color <laughs> on the top. We? <laughs> and then we decided to mix them all together, so. We? <sighs> Alright, let's drink. All right, I'm down for that. So you picked this up where? In Colorado. So we still have a couple more from Colorado that we still have to go through, right? Mm-hmm. And tell us about it. Um, this is... Oh, wait, let me get Siri out. Siri, <laughs> what, what are we drinking? <laughs> this is Fireside Colorado Bourbon, and I can't remember exactly. Did we get this at the... No, we didn't get it. Target, we got it. I don't know, you picked it up, so I'm not sure. Again. Probably Ace's High Liquor Store. That's where we oh, went. Oh, yeah. So, um, how's it a bourbon if it's from Colorado? Because they call it Fireside Colorado Bourbon. Okay, so that's why it's a bourbon? Because they said it is? The, technically, it's not, but that's what they okay. say it is. Tell us about it. Um, it's um, $20. I don't read remember exactly what I paid for it, but on the web it says it's $20. Okay, so 20 bucks would be a three barrel cost, right? Yeah. Okay, so and we're down to three. The only research I could really find is on one page, and it says that it's part of the um, growing distillery scene in Colorado, which seems to be like, there's quite a few Colorado. Okay. And, um, Mile, it's from Mile High, to, Mile, Mile High Spirits in okay. Denver, and distilled corn, rye, and barley. Corn, rye, and barley. And they've been around since 2011. Because mm -hmm. everything that you're reading on the page is on the back of the bottle right here. So I could have done my <laughs> research right there. Yeah. Why would I waste all those gigabytes to do it? Those brain cells. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's get into this. <laughs> also says it's in a new charred American oak. New charred? Okay. Yeah. It's got a nice aroma. I'm gonna use this one. You're gonna go right from the bottle. <laughs> what the people I never do like... see is that that's usually how you, yeah. we talk about how we usually drink it, but usually just right from the bottle. That's about even, don't you think? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's got a nice color. Nice color, nice golden. Uh, dark amber. It's got some good legs to it. It's got a really nice aroma. Can smell kind of a, a caramely smell to it. And based off of the color, it's probably in a fairly decently charred barrel. Mm -hmm. Little sweet smell. I'm smelling something, I can't quite pick it up. Bourbon. They're smelling bourbon. Oh, that was the ice cream that I <laughs> had earlier. I would say this is about a moderate, or a like mild a aroma. Vanilla or something. Yeah. 
I'm going to put it as three, mild. That's what I was going to say. Three. Has a little bit of a hint of a uh, alcohol burn, but not much. Just a small. Yeah, you can smell that alcohol. So here. three as a aroma, and now let's look at flavor. Hmm. Now, what was the proof? It didn't say the proof on it. It's 80 proof. 80 proof, okay. Because right now it seems a little... Yeah, you can taste the... Seems more like a proof. 90 or above proof. It's kind of got a, um, a silky flavor to it. I can taste the woody mm -hmm. and tannins. Um... But I also get a strong uh, alcohol flavor to it. Not pungent or not uh, bitter, but definitely not pleasant. So I'm going to put this as a three as well. That's what I do. And you know what I'm thinking? This is a new whiskey. Mm -hmm. And they haven't really like perfected fine -tuned it yet. tuned it yet and stuff. Yeah, it's been around since 2011. So, so they're probably working on it. So it's not, it kind of, kind of reminded me of kind of what we've been experimenting with our own. It reminds me more of a, a Tennessee whiskey and not a Kentucky bourbon. Mm -hmm. And it's got that um, kind of a lingering bite to it. I'm really hesitant to, to put sharp, so I'm going to put 2.5 on the bite. I can't really put it as a medium. Yeah, I... I was going to go two, but I'll just go okay. with the 2.5. There you go, copying me all the time. All the time. So this gives it a total of 11.5. So that is going to be, um, well, real close to a three barrel. It'll be a 2.75. So I'm okay with making it a three. Even if we went down to two on the bike, it would still be close to a three. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know that it's a three, though. No. I mean, that's what the rating is, but I think what's making it a three is that we gave a three for a Roman flavor, and maybe we'll have to come back and revisit this, because compared to the last dozen or so, um, as we're fine-tuning this, this doesn't really seem like a three. And this is something that I would like maybe buy a, another one in like five years okay and see the Fantastic. contrast because it just seems to me like it's a new whiskey that they're just right they're tr tinkering with and trying to it's kind of a cool bottle nice label but we've run into those before where they have really nice presentation but not that good. Not that, that good. Like and I'm not saying this isn't good. There's no bad whiskey. There's only good whiskey. There's only good whiskey and great whiskey, and this is only good whiskey. I would ask Cody, um, but his rating system sucks, and we forgot to give him some. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right, we also forget to give him the card that goes right there. Oh, that, that's true. How's it? How's it? He, he hasn't memorized the rating system yet. How's the rating? Apparently neither of y'all have y'all had to pull it over here. I've um, had several times. I will, <laughs> I will tell you that I would uh, most likely, if I drink this again, and this is your sample, so you'll probably take it, um, I'd probably use it as a mixer. Yeah. Which is really odd because I don't really like to mix, but like I said, ice I'd... might mellow it out a little bit. I'd like to maybe buy one and keep this and buy one in five years and see how far they've come with the... I'm not sure that's going to happen. No, you drink it's, too it's, much. it's not going to. <laughs> that took a dark turn. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Cheers. All right, so three barrel for the fireside. Yeah, I'll okay. agree with that. Uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Twitter. Give us some comments down below. And, um, Bourbon and Booze. Bourbonandbooze.com. 
And C Andy always says, check out the merch. Mm-hmm. We got good shirts. And I got great shirts. I don't know what the heck you're wearing, but. I gotta cover mine up, because. I think that's a game, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's not even a real company. No, there's no aperture company. Yeah. Oh, now that you said it's copyright claimed. <laughs> We're already banned and we haven't even published this yet. I'm just wondering when you're going to start wearing big boy clothes because you got shorts on and a game shirt. It's summertime. Okay. You literally have a Minecraft shirt. Uh, yeah. But do you, you see me wearing it? All right. Cheers. Cheers. See Later. you next time. Bye. That was awkward. Ha, ha, ha.